Cool. cool. Yeah, on the um, on the blog front, that's probably not something we're gonna invest like any engineering resources into into the near term too. So would defer to you guys on you know if that was sufficiently troublesome maybe you know spin up a mirror that you guys control and we can link to that from the landing page uh just throwing out ideas not a uh, not making any calls so defer to you guys i think we can talk about this more i thought we were wanting to stick on the current um blog posting format but i i do think mirror would be better um i mean maybe we could dual post um and just keep the blog running because that's on the website, but then also have the mirror. Um, but yeah, I don't know. We can we can talk more about this um, internally, but I think like in general, kind of the mirror is a little bit more crypto native, and uh, that's that's kind of like the standard uh, across a lot of new protocols. So I think for SEO, we should pick one of the other. Um, and I always lean toward a native blog, but I don't know how hard it is to figure out. Uh, it wasn't yeah, like our thought, our thought. It was just a little, uh, ahead, a little buggy at times. So it took, you know, a few extra minutes here and there to make sure everything was, um, showing up properly. Not like the biggest. Yeah, I think. Castle, but, you know. We'll get it cleaned up and, and, and kind of get a better idea after, after doing it a couple times. But I think, um, you know, the only thing we had an issue with was kind of the banner. Um, and so, but I, I, I think it is important to go native blog because I'll, especially a lot of the educational content that we're putting out is very, um, uh, is, is, is very educational focused. So like that's very SEO friendly when people are like, oh, stablecoin trilemma, right? We want to be like kind of ranking higher there and kind of getting that added benefit of also, you know, kind of putting it on Twitter, getting that SEO. And then also kind of when people are looking at what's the stablecoin trilemma, right? Ranking higher, ranking higher. <clears throat> as you know, I, we, we do have this general thesis that like SEO is maybe not the biggest right now, but uh, over the next couple of years, it's going to be uh, growing. Like people aren't going to always only find uh, all of their, their projects on Twitter, right? Like if, if the space is going to grow as big as we think it is, then, you know, whether it's Google or, you know, I don't know if you know, anyone's a chat GPT guy here, like Maxi, but, you know, something like that is going to, uh, you know, have a pretty big impact on how people find projects. So, uh, I think we do want to stick with native blog um, if, as long as you guys are cool with that. No objections here. Awesome. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's fine with me. It wasn't like too bad or anything. <laughs> awesome. Um, so we can get it kicked off. Um, so first thing we want to do is just kind of run through the content calendar. So, um, so, one thing I wanted to bring up is, is um, the blog from last week. So uh, we we did run into a couple issues, um, you know, not too much on the posting side, but more on on our end. And it, it, it definitely is our bad. Like we were looking to put it out Wednesday, Thursday, and then we ended up getting it till Monday because uh, we had a couple <clears throat> uh, images that we wanted our designer to kind of really get down. Um, as far as kind of the the flows here, I can uh, pull up the blog. Um, so, uh, but yeah, so, so we, we wanted to really make sure that we got, uh, some of those images down and, and, uh, had some issues with the, with our designer. So that's on our end. And so I think we're, we're, we're kind of, we're going to shift to do a Monday to Monday so we can keep it consistent. Um, so this image a little, little bit, because there was a couple issues and then uh, we had to fix some things and there was a couple, uh, you know, kind of miss, uh, misspellings. Um, so, uh, going forward, uh, we'll kind of go back to the content calendar itself, um, is we're, we're going to go with the Monday to Monday. So every Monday the blog will go out. So, uh, I think by end of day, this one should be ready. And then we, we definitely want to get your eyes on, on this, uh, Beaninomics and Peg Incentives, uh, post. Uh, so, so we'll, we'll kind of, so the idea will be by, by Wednesday to Thursday, we can shoot it over to you guys. Uh, or, you know, if there's anyone else in the community that wants to take a look at it, uh, we can get those looked at uh, and finalized by end of week to be ready to go on Monday. And then thread and blog will go out on Mondays. Um, so that's just the um, housekeeping for the long form. Um, big picture, what we've been thinking about is a little more campaign planning. <clears throat> and kind of structuring each area of content to kind of fit in a larger campaign. 
Uh, so like we think this first kind of month is, is that we're going to really focus on the educational content and hitting kind of every area of educational content that we can possibly think of in every angle. So that's why you're seeing like the, the silo thread, uh, stable coin trilemma, how we deal with the trilemma. Um, so, you know, this you know, on Friday, we're going to have like a kind of history of Beanstalk uh, thread go out. And then, you know, kind of the Beanonomics, you know, peg incentives and system mechanisms, more educational content. So this kind of month, think of like the month of April is kind of like being education month. And so that's kind of be that first campaign. And then once, you know, and, and things are going to change around when, um, when, when, when Wells gets closer to, to coming and things like that, then, you know, it'll kind of shift towards like, you know, maybe a, a larger push towards uh, a, a larger push towards, uh, you know, like more, uh, call it like, you know, well specific type of content and kind of pushing Wells and, and other things like that. Um, so, but this month is going to be a lot of education and that's kind of where we're focusing most of our time and efforts right now. Um, so if there's anything or any, any other uh, kind of areas that you think that you guys think might, that we might be missing, um, you know, like feel free to take a look through the kind of notion and see like, okay, well, these are what these guys are going with. <clears throat> um, so that we can make sure that we're hitting kind of every single angle that you guys think there might be some level of ambiguity for, for like normie audiences. Um, and then the other thing that we're thinking about there is like kind of pushing ourselves into a lot more conversations. Uh, you know, we're, we're, there's a, a larger kind of big conversation going around around stable coins and we want to be a little more reply guys. So like one thing that we're finding is like, you know, we're getting great engagement on this, uh, being farmers account, like the engagement, the, the engagement to follower ratio is like, uh, like absurd. Like, uh, I don't think there's anyone, <clears throat> there's probably not an account out there that has a better follower to engagement ratio. Um, the problem that we're thinking is that there, this might be like a little bit of like a, like an echo chamber where it's like just, uh, you know, all the bean guys and, and, you know, it's, it's, it's starting to get out there more. Like, you know, we saw a tweet from, uh, uh, the, the Caesar, um, call him an influencer, uh, Caesar Mackin. And, uh, you know, he was talking about like, you know, wanting to see more information about like positive care and what does positive, positive care even mean? Here, I'll pull up his Twitter real quick. Um, so he commented on some of our stuff. So it's definitely helping us get more out there. He's got a, he's got a pretty, pretty big YouTube channel. Um, so people are starting to see it and that growth is happening. Uh, what we want to do is like go into a little more replying so that we're getting a little bit more outside of our little, our little like echo chamber. Um, and so that more people are kind of seeing what's happening. They understand what's going on. They're getting the educational content out of it. Uh, so, you know, the message is getting out there. I think like, you know, I think we probably just this week, I think we doubled followers, um, on the, uh, on the bean farmers account, which like, obviously the numbers aren't, aren't the most massive right now, but, uh, you know, the engagement has been great. The growth is getting there. I think like, as you guys know, that that first kind of thousand is, is the most difficult. Um, and so we want to start also kind of recycling some of the early content to kind of bring it back to the top of the feed. Um, hang on, hang on. Yeah. <laughs> um, cool. Uh, so just a big picture, the, what, the things that we're thinking about are like one campaign planning, making sure all of these things are kind of fitting into the themes that we want to hit every kind of month or quarter. Um, two is kind of uh, growing our bubble and getting our bubble a little bit bigger. Um, but, you know, all the support that we've gotten in, in these Twitter DM groups has been like incredibly important and will continue to be incredibly important. Uh, we definitely want to encourage more participation there. As far as like, you know, when we put something out, putting it into the chat and having more people talk about it. Um, and then, um, yeah, and, and, and yeah, just like keeping up with the educational content, I think it's just going to continue to be key as we grow is like, you know, we still think there's that gap and, and that education is, is still the gap and, and standing that the goal is kind of peg stability and repegging. And we think that, you know, there's obviously the ripe unripe aspect of it, but our focus is like if we educate people, get more holders, get more people excited about the ecosystem. Like, yes, it's not perfect, but kind of hyping on this, harping on this. This is like an experiment, and this is a very important experiment for us to do. And we can't just like, oh, it's not working, or like, oh, it's not perfect. Like, it's it's a process, and we're going to continue on this process in order to create like this, you know, perfect, uh, you know, non-backed, you know, endogenous value stablecoin. So, uh, big picture, that's the things that we're thinking about. Uh, um, 
So uh, all the contents here, you know, guys been really, really helpful in helping us review this content, making sure we're <clears throat> not only hitting everything, but also making sure we're wording things in the right way uh, that kind of match the things that poops are saying. So that's been incredibly helpful. And we're, we're going to kind of lean on, on Guy a little bit, at least for these next kind of few weeks to make sure that we're all on the same page as far as messaging. Um, and then hopefully we'll be able to kind of take that load off over time. Um, so uh, content calendar is always in the, in the notion for anybody to see and look at. Um, long form is going to be Monday to Monday. You'll see long form blog plus um, uh, threads going out. Um, and then what's on kind of the schedule for this week is uh, got some stuff for Bean Bowl. Um, and then uh, got some means approved by Guy. Uh, one thing, one thing I, I know, Guy, that we had talked about this in the DM. Um, it, it didn't hit me at first. After, after a little bit, it, it hit me. Is um, uh, the uh, uh, Matt, Madison really liked this one, and I, I, I agreed with you at the beginning. Uh, maybe we the one on April it. Fools. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, so I, it, I didn't even realize at the beginning that I was like, oh, like it, Publius is Mr. Bean. Cause that's a, a Mr. Bean picture. Uh, and it's like Publius is, is Mr. Bean. And that was the docs. So I was like, oh, that's really weird at the beginning. And then when I was talking to the guys about it, uh, in our internal that we do every week, then I said, Mr. Bean, and then it all clicked to me and I was like, oh, Mr. Bean, Publius, docs, uh, that's why. Um, so, uh, I, I, yeah, it, it took me a while, but, uh, I, I didn't immediately get it either. But then after a while it hit me and I was like, oh, okay, yeah, that's actually, uh, that's actually pretty funny. So, so shout out to Madison on that one. Um, uh, but yeah, I totally appreciate over my head. Yeah. That's a, it, the same exact thing happened. It went totally over my head. And that's why I was like, oh, okay, like, let me like start looking over these. And then once we were talking about it, it clicked to me and I was like, oh, Mr. Bean, poops, Bean, um, so that that was a, that was a funny one that that we that we talked through. Um, so uh, you know we're, we're we're working on more meme stuff. You know we're trying to make like almost this uh, this you know everyone like loves the Pepe thing. We're trying to create this. Uh, and we have a designer working on this. Is kind of this uh, meme structure for like a Pepe Bean type cross, where like uh, almost like a like Pepe memes but beans instead of Pepe. Um, so we think that'll allow let us do a lot of fun stuff across. Um, uh, across Bean Bowl and, and, and some of the and, and Bean Farmers, so uh, there's going to be some pretty fun stuff there. Uh, and uh, so yeah, so just uh, going back to me notes, uh, Joey, uh, you want to hop in and, and kind of go through the notes? Or you want me to kind of keep running through? Um, you can keep running through. I'll jump in if if there's anything that um, I think I need to cover a little bit more in detail, um, and you can pass it off wherever. But yeah, cool. You got um, it. So yeah, blog. Yeah, blog poster in the notion. Um, same thing that we just talked about, right? Continue pushing Bean in the conversation through Bean Bowl, Bean Farmers, right? Like we we love the echo chamber. We want to make a big ass echo chamber. So that's kind of what we're thinking about uh, plan wise. Um, you know, kind of getting a little more replies going to kind of expand that echo chamber a little bit. Um, education stuff ready to implement. Um, we're we're, we're going to get you know more conversations around you know kind of current events right like uh, why the bean is below peg right we have a couple of threads that are going to explain and kind of introduce why this is happening so I think that's going to help out a lot so we'll definitely want to have a pretty big push there and have the community kind of help us out and kind of uh, expanding on that and, and kind of helping push that Wells future upgrades you know we, we definitely want to start to get people excited get a little more forward about what's happening what's on the roadmap uh, uh, getting people just, yeah, just you know, pretty just to add on to that, yeah, like we, we've, um, and we do have more stuff in the calendar, obviously, it's not, I mean, the education could be never ending with Beanstalk, um, and we want to do a sufficient job of covering main details, but uh, like this, this is kind of the, the path forward, right, is getting these upgrade, this Wells upgrade, getting Bean back to peg, like kind of, yeah, doing a little bit more forward look, that future looks like how we get there. Um, and getting a little bit more current event focused rather than just like kind of education look back stuff. Yeah. But this, so that'll be shifted. I think. But, but that's like kind of, yeah, end of month. Like that's when that tone will start to really shift. Yeah. So just quick look at the long form that that's going to be coming out is like we have this uh, beanomics, peg, peg mechanisms and system incentives. 
Um, and then uh, Counting Beans is kind of a, a series that we want to do every quarter where we kind of give a, an overview of, of everything that happened in the bean ecosystem over the last quarter. Um, so that's going to be mid-April. We'll put that out and that'll cover Jan, Feb, March. Um, and so so that's the, the next long form. And then after that, it'll be um, the different flavors of stable coins. Um, so just a, a quick look at long form and what you can kind of expect to see out of the long form content. Uh, again, obviously always open to ideas and, and, and concepts that, you know, if anyone wants to see something or thinks we should be writing about something, um, you know, right now the focus is definitely education. So anything focusing on that, but uh, obviously always open to different ideas. Um, on the BD side, um, again, like larger campaign focus is education, brand awareness. Um, we're working with DeFi Llama. We're trying to get uh, being into the DeFi Llama wiki. Um, now that all the DeFi Llama drama, Llama drama, uh, that, that has kind of subsided a little bit. Uh, we're working with Coin Market Cap. We're trying to get on Coin Market Cap. We're obviously in Coin Gecko, but uh, you know, more the merrier. We definitely want to get on Coin Market Cap. Um, and then uh, we're working. You know, w- one thing that we've been talking about is um, uh, is is you know, we're obviously very U.S. centric, right? Like most of the Bean community is is pretty U.S. centric. You know, Poobs, builders. Uh, you know, Silo Chad guy, you know, most of us are kind of US based. Um, and, you know, while the US is is definitely a place where the need for this kind of endogenous value stable coin is like, important, I think there's like a larger opportunity where we can kind of try to start pulling in holders from other geographies. So um, and, and kind of the first one that we're thinking about looking at is like India, because India one has a uh, well, like India, like South Asia, and then also like Southeast Asia is like not only one that, you know, they have a lot of money problems in and of themselves. So there's always like people looking for stable coins. Uh, but two, it's just like a, there's a massive crypto market there that are always interested in kind of playing with and use different types of dApps and new tools. So uh, we're looking at a bunch of other non-US native crypto education platforms. So we're, we're in talks with a couple based in India right now and kind of doing some community level stuff with them, uh, you know, getting on some of these educational platforms to teach. Uh, so that's a big thing that we're working on is like trying to expand our, our kind of range a little bit. So it's not just like, you know, because, you know, it, it's, a, it's a pretty good sell to US users, but it, it's an even easier sell to non-US users. And obviously we're pretty global and, and there's no reason why we can't be global. So um, on the BD side, that's what we're working on is like listing in more places, getting the name out there a little more and then uh, non-US education platforms and communities. And, and I'll have a more tangible update there um, Friday. Uh, kind of the, the people, the guy I'm working with, um, we're going to be syncing up tomorrow or Friday. So I'll, I'll have like a written thing I can send in the Scribe channel um, that'll have a little bit more substance behind it but that's yeah that's generally what we're working at right now um and the comment uh, on the coin market cap thing is that we we were in contact with them and there used to be a bean price on the site but they were i can't quite remember the technical details but the way beanstalk calculates the bean price is a little bit unusual and they weren't willing to accommodate it which meant that the bean price on their site was uh like significantly different all the time so we sort of just scrapped it and let it be that it wasn't on there so not to say that we shouldn't re-engage them but just a heads up okay that's very helpful yeah um yeah we'll still give it a try and see see what we can come up with um but that's good to know that's great context uh yeah, so, so yeah, super full context, just so we know, and that we have a little bit of ammo to to go in with, um, and and so so well, yeah, we'll we'll definitely work them from our side, um, but yeah, I appreciate the the context; they're very helpful. Um, last thing is on the PR side, so a couple updates. One, um, we 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 got an agreement just uh, just yesterday today um, on getting uh, poops on this uh, Fiscus Digital podcast. I mean, th- these guys, are, they're building like a, a stablecoin educational platform where basically they're just like, you know, wanting to have like a database and uh, like almost like an educational wiki plus like, you know, they're kind of trying to form a like a type uh, thing for stablecoins as well. So pretty interesting platform. They have a podcast where they talk to a lot of stablecoin projects. Uh, and so, uh, you know, they, so we, we're getting poops on there. We're just, we're going to coordinate times. I know poops said either Mondays or Thursdays in that mid afternoon. So, uh, I'm coordinating with him on timings and then I'm going to, uh, uh, 
hit hoops again to to get one of them on there. But I think that's a pretty interesting opportunity. Uh, again, like the the PR thing has been a little tough. Um, trying to go, I think we've been kind of going for like the jugular kind of tier one. And I think, uh, you know, one of like levels set. So two things, one, we, we got Fiscus Two, we reached out to flywheel, uh, because, you know, we talk a lot about fracks and some of the, not necessarily similarities, but, um, you know, uh, adjacent structures of, of being the fracks. Uh, and they, they declined this and right now is not the right time. So that was a, a little upsetting because we have a pretty good relationship with them, but we'll keep pushing for that. Uh, update just on the general scribe side is like we're we actually just signed like a a, a three or f- uh, three people to kind of come in and really build up this pr arm for us and they're like a really experienced pr team um that we brought on so so pr is definitely going to like really get up in the next week or two so we're really excited about that we you know we brought on like kind of three superstars so i think like instead of going for straight tier one i think we're gonna have to like kind of work our way up and we're gonna start to do a little more of this thought leadership kind of uh, we're going to shoot for some more maybe pu- Web 2-ish publications, more like your NASDAQs and your Forbes, and then slowly get our – because they want a lot of crypto content, especially stablecoin content. Uh, and then we're going to start to work our way further into your more crypto-native publications. Um, we did get an opportunity to uh, to do some sponsorships. You know, I, I know we just did the Black Report. Um, we're, we're talking to DeFi Dad, and he just launched a new podcast. Um, so we're in talks with him. I'll, I'll, I'll kind of reach out to guys separately if it's something we're interested in, uh, where we can kind of do like a small sponsorship and then get Poobs and the guys on with, uh, with DeFi dad and the, the, the they have a, a VC for RC. Um, so it's not like super expensive right now because they're early on. So, and they're, they're more than happy to take on beans and then have the larger bean conversation and get Poobs on there as well. So it's going to be a little bit of a slow roll, but I think this plus this PR kind of structure that we're bringing in is, you know, we're pretty excited about and that's going to help kind of double down, triple down our PR efforts. So uh, the, the, the PR help is coming. We're, we're going to get a lot more resources in to push that uh, because I think that's another way where we can get a little bit outside of the echo chamber and kind of continue to build the, the storyline behind Bean, which is like kind of, uh, and we're also thinking about some interesting campaigns around kind of this, you know, first is going to be education and then kind of think about, uh, you know, something like we're thinking about names like like being back better, um, and and you know like a way that we can kind of structure some of this push to kind of just reeducate, but you know kind of bring in more holders so that we can kind of fully recapitalize, bring the peg back up, get more holders, etc. So uh, Biscus Digital is going to be a good pod to get on where he's just like a stablecoin maxi and uh you know has a, a pretty large understanding of all the different ways that stable coins work and he's kind of building the stable coin uh website and and uh kind of educational platform just specifically around stables so i think there's a good conversation to be had there that'll be next early next week and um you know the the, the cavalry is coming on the pr side so we're going to be able to get a lot more outreach we're going to try to hit like a lot of different publications there's also the seo aspect there as well um so Pumped about the PR stuff. I'm getting a little bit going. Uh, haven't gotten as many bites as we would have liked early on, but I think a little bit of mix of like some light paid stuff plus, uh, you know, getting, you know, kind of working our way up into restructuring our larger PR strategy and then kind of working our way up the ladder. Um, and then obviously like anything we can do towards peg stability um, and getting back to a dollar is, is going to help a lot on that sense. Um, so um that covers yeah pr bd social content um you got any questions for us thoughts i have a couple but i'll see if anyone else wants to speak up first So I was thinking as a matter of process, it might be nice to have like the scribe channel be the place where if, you know, questions aren't able to be answered, you know, like over text and discord that they can be answered here, if that sounds good to you. So like, I know there are a couple yeah. questions in the last week or so, or, or maybe the one from Albin was before last meeting, but I don't think we talked about it, which was that the, the copy on the, the bean farmers uh, Twitter bio. Do you have any thoughts on their comment there? Uh, yeah, we've been 
we've been trying to kind of come up with exactly how we want to phrase like what what we're trying to achieve kind of what yeah i mean we, we've been talking and trying to figure out um how we want to change that you're, you're talking about are you talking about restructuring the bio or yeah just the comment they made about how it has this powered by scribe and it sort of uh, contradicts the community aspect of oh, the that, bio that's, uh, out. that's out oh all right then yeah, we gave I'm it an update. We, we, st we still don't. Yeah, we still don't love it. Uh, I'll I'll drop a uh, screenshot in the scribe chat. Um, we still don't love it. Uh, we're we're still trying to find a way to kind of get the wording right. We think like the spill the big thing is funny, um, uh, and and but you know and then like you know farming bean money you know commission rate bean stock farms. We still want to get like you know when people see it, we want them to kind of be able to get to the other profiles as well. And uh, I'll, I'll, you know, kind of get the full range, um, but yeah, we're, we're still kind of thinking of a way to kind of word it that hits everything that we're trying to do. So, I mean, obviously, open to suggestions, but yeah, totally agree uh, with, with with the comment about kind of focusing a little more on the community driven aspect. Um, uh, as, as far as um, you know, we, we've been going back and forth. Uh, so, so we'll, we'll try to pull some of our conversations that we're having with Guy um, into a little more of the larger forefront. Um, you know, we're, we're still thinking about, about, uh, logos for this account. Uh, we've been kind of going back and forth. So I'm going to drop, uh, the couple, you know, this is the first one that that guy sent over, which was really good as the only issue that I had with it is that like, oh, I had like no idea what it was. And it makes sense now that it's a silo. Um, and then we kind of iterated on it a little bit, but I, yeah, I, I agree with guy that it was a little busy. Um, but I'll, I'll drop, uh, just to kind of get, you know, full, uh, uh, full full view on it. Um, so, but yeah, we'll, we'll we'll yeah we'll definitely utilize the scribe chat a little more and get people in there. I think yeah, you make a great point about uh, pushing more content onto uh, onto this, where like we don't have to come to you for every question. We can just kind of put it in the scribe chat, and then other people could kind of be involved and answer questions as well. Um, So um, open to these conversations. You know, we, we, we want everyone's feedback. We want this to be as like community friendly and, uh, you know, collaborative as possible. Um, so, you know, if anyone has any thoughts, feedback, recommendations, you know, we're, we're, we're more than happy to take whatever you guys got. Uh, and, and we'll be better about having more of these conversations in the larger scribe chat, uh, in, in, the, in that scribe channel. Um, right on fiat currencies. Uh, yeah. I think that's a that's a that's a really good idea. We'll make sure we get that um, in the in the calendar going mod. Um, that is definitely a good idea. Um, so yeah, like as collaborative and as involved as you guys want to be, we're more than happy to kind of work with everybody and have everybody in on it. It looks like BLC also had a question from a few days ago, and it sounds like the <laughs> the doxed meme also went over their head, but. They asked, like, basically what the strategy was between, like, what goes out on the bean farmers' accounts what, versus what goes out on the bean bull accounts. What's the, what's the thinking there? Yeah, it's, uh, it's something we're still finalizing, definitely. I mean, we, we, we definitely want to be a little more shitposty on bean bull. And that's kind of going to be our place where we can be, like, a little bit reply guy-esque and, and shove ourselves into more different conversations. Um, you know, I, I think we still want to have some fun on bean farmers and like this, we, we definitely want to be this like uh, cross between education and memory, like maybe not as much shit posty. Um, but yeah, we definitely want to like have fun with it. We want people to see that like that we, we want the, the vibe of bean farmers to match the community. And like the community vibe is like definitely educational and philosophical and like this like economic philosophy, but also like, you know, you guys have fun in here and like uh, that's how we think like you know, it's a it's a good medium to mirror what it's like to be a part of the community where it is like Mimi, but it is educational and philosophical as well. And that's kind of the well, that we want to mirror, definitely. Um, Yeah, happy to hang out and uh, answer any more questions or get any thoughts or, or you know, shooting the shit with everybody. 
Last question on this end was this uh, just if y'all would be game to move this meeting an hour earlier. It's just a little bit more convenient on this end. Uh, so figured I'd ask. Oof, looks like no. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh sorry. Um, what do you What do you think? Uh, yeah, no, I I, th I think it's definitely doable. Uh, let, let, let me just uh, Ooh, confirm with I'm the team. Uh, let, let, yeah, let me just confirm with uh, Rob, Madison, and uh, and and Joey. Uh, and it, as long as they're cool with it, I mean, I, I think my schedule works for it. So, uh, yeah, more than happy to move it an hour earlier to match what. So it'd be just like the same time as uh, just on Wednesday, where the doubt calls on Thursday, but same timing. Exactly. Yeah, definitely. More than happy to do that. Uh, but yeah, let me just confirm with the guys and make sure we don't have it. They don't have any. Uh, uh, kind of uh, conflicts, but yeah, I think we should be good if we do that. All right, well, that's all I got on this end. Um, yeah, appreciate your time, Guy. Appreciate everybody hopping in and kind of with us. Um, I, I can, I'll, I'll hang back for a couple minutes and uh, uh, so happy to kind of chat through things with guys or if anybody has any ideas or wants to shoot the shit, you know, I'll, I'll hang out here for a bit. Thanks everyone. Really appreciate it. Hi guys. And uh, I'll be hitting you guys with the draft for the next blog shortly here, hopefully by uh, end of day today. And get a, get started on the editing process. Yeah, Rob. Let, let's just uh, let, let, let's just go ahead and, and drop that into into the scribe channel too, just so as many people can get eyes on it as they want. And uh, and and yeah, just just kind of give uh, give guy an at maybe. Uh, yeah, of course. And we got we got images that'll be coming into that that are still in the process of being made. Um, but yeah. All yeah, that's right. another. That's well, another that's another bigger thing that, I, I, that, I, that we'd love ideas on is like if there's maybe like if you if anyone in the community has ideas for like infographics or like uh ways that we can structure the bean kind of ecosystem or offering and like ways that we can show what bean is about in an easier kind of picture format um, you know, we, we have a couple of really good designers. I know you guys are really great designers as well. So if there's other ways or like if someone has an idea about like, uh, you know, hey, someone has a concept about they want to think about peg stability and they want to like sketch it out or something and we can kind of build it out. I, I, like we're, we're super open to that. I think that's a, another good educational way that we can uh, get a lot of the get the point across in an easier to understand way uh, for people. So. Uh, we're really interested in the infographic thing. If anyone has any uh, thoughts there, those are the those are the two that are going to be coming out um, this for with this blog post. So um, yeah, those will be really helpful, and we'll send those in separately uh, with the post, and then we can kind of like all go back and forth and have a little bit of a dialogue on on how to get some more stuff like this because that's what Rob and I had been talking about and trying to figure out is good ways to visualize both the mechanics of peg stability how the silo operates um, and kind of continuing to do that for a lot of different aspects of being. No immediate thoughts, but it's a, it's a good shout. We could probably use some more graphics in the docs too. Yeah. A little bit light on that. Yeah. Pictures are always nice. All right, well, I'm going to get back to writing this thing. I'll talk to you guys soon. Sweet. Thanks, guys. I'm going to hop as well. Thank you.